The majorities of mollusks with coiled shells are commonly referred to as snails or shelled gastropods. A snail is an important member of the food chain and may be found in most freshwater, marine, and terrestrial settings. They also offer aesthetic value and add to the human interest with nature. Like all other mollusks, snails are known to have an organ system for circulation, breathing, digestion, excretion, nerve formation, and reproduction, a body divided into three sections, the head, visceral mass and muscular foot, and a real coelom. Similar to all other gastropods, during the larval stage, their body plan displays torsion or twisting. Specifically, the mantle cavity moves to the anterior of the snail as a result of the visceral mass twisting 180 degrees in reference to the head. Diverse sizes, shapes, and colors are found in snails. The biggest terrestrial species is the giant African snail, also known as the Ghana tiger snail, Akatina akatina, which may grow up to 30 centimeters in length. The biggest freshwater snail, however, is the giant apple snail, Pomacia maculata. The largest snail of all is the Australian sea species Syrinx oratus, which may reach lengths of up to 30 inches and weighs up to 40 pounds. Though certain terrestrial species and the majority of aquatic species may be omnivores or carnivores, most snail species are herbivores. The radula, a chitinous structure containing microscopic hooks called cuticula, is how snails break down their food. Snails may scrape food with their radula and then move it to their digestive tract. One or two pairs of tentacles can be found on the heads of most snails. The eyes of the majority of terrestrial animals are born on the ends of the first set of tentacles, or eye stalks, which usually make up around 75% of the eye's width. The olfactory organs are the second set of tentacles. On terrestrial snails, both pairs of tentacles are retractable. Most freshwater and marine animals have their eyes near the base of their first pair of tentacles. The snail's cerebral ganglia form a rudimentary brain that is divided into four sections. Snails move by alternating between tensing and extending their bodies. Mucus is secreted by them to lessen friction and damage risk. Additionally, the internal organ known as a foot is covered by a mantle in snails. Since calcium carbonate makes up snail shells, they need to eat calcium-rich foods and live in a wet environment in order to form strong shells. The snail's calcium carbonate shell enlarges with its growing size. Some snails have an operculum, an anatomical feature that resembles a door, to help them remain secure when within their shells. In the Northern Hemisphere, some snails hibernate from October to April during the winter. If there is a drought, they could also remain dormant throughout the summer. During these seasons, snails cover the gaps in their shells with an epiphram, a dry coating of mucus, to stay wet. When an apple snail retracts into its shell, some of them have a door that closes it. Every terrestrial snail has both male and female genitalia, making them hermaphrodites. There are male and female aquatic snails, like apple snails. Most snails engage in a courtship ritual that can take anywhere from 2 to 12 hours before to mating. They are prolific breeders, internally fertilizing up to 100 eggs by pairwise insemination. The spots on snails' necks where fertilization occurs are tiny incisions. In warm, humid weather, garden snails bury their eggs two to four inches below the dirt using their foot and the rear of their tail. Snail shells form when the snail is still an embryo, despite the fact that they are quite fragile at this point and require an instant source of calcium. 
Typically, pond snails hold their eggs until they hatch rather than laying them on the ground. Snails vary in length of life depending on the species. The Acatinidae family and the Helix genus have varying natural life spans of 5 to 7 years and 3 years, respectively. Apple snails in water have a 1-year lifespan. However, snails live a lot longer in captivity, most species reach a maturity age of 10 to 15 years. Snails in the wild consume a wide range of foods, such as fruits, vegetables, carrion, and dung. They even have the ability to harm garden plants and agricultural products. There are many predators of snails, including members of all the main species of vertebrates. Freshwater snails are the prey of the Boccia family of freshwater fish, which sucks them out of their shells. Snails are also very vulnerable to human-caused pollution and habitat degradation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content.